Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fire Pro Wrestling World. This is uh, WTF Wednesday. I know it's going up a bit late, but uh, my modem was broken, so I had to replace it. So I do apologize. I've had a couple days where it was down. Uh, so I uploaded Raw and SmackDown last night and this morning, respectively. And this is going to go look right away once I've recorded it. So, now we're going to start off with one of the Putty Patrollers taking on Jason from the Power Rangers, the original Red Ranger. We got Zoidberg refereeing this one. Alright, Putty Patroller is starting off some offense here. He gets taken down by the Red Ranger. Of course, the, these putties were from Season 1. If you haven't checked it out, I would strongly recommend to watch that season. It was a groundbreaking season, for sure. Nice kick there by the putty. And oh, headbutt from the Red Ranger. Alright, so. Um, later tonight, or later in this event, it will be Shaquille O'Neal defending his his uh, WTF championship against Lord Zed, which is actually from Season 2 of the Power Rangers. Uh, season 2, Mighty Mark and Power Rangers. Uh, yeah, it was Lord Zed, then Rita came back to see if her the end of season two and the beginning of season three. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Suplex countered by the er, by the putty there. There he is, just laughing in our faces. Our putties are a creation of Finster, which is one of Rita's uh, right hand monsters. Alright, audience looking on. Pretty much wondering what the hell is going on, but enjoying the match nonetheless, I'm sure. Leg lock there by the putty. Nice, uh, we'll just call it a clay maker. There's clay maker there by the putty. They are made of clay. Special magic clay. Mm -hmm. Oh, Enziguri. The kick to the face of the Red Ranger. And there we go. Oh, there's some kicks in the corner there by the putty. Oh, and a headbutt. Alright, so not a whole lot to this fight at the moment, but it is back and forth. It's not too bad at all. And like I said, later on the WTF title will be on the line, our main event. 
and we are also uh, within the next couple of weeks we are going to get a match that we were supposed to have at the pay-per-view but I ended up forgetting to put it on the card and that was KISS taking on the heavy hitters of hip-hop in a four-on-four -four match nice frog splash there by the putty and a moonsault one two Misses a kick to the face, but gets a sidewalk slam. And here we go. Elbow drop. And a power bomb. What is he going to do here? And another elbow. Putty knocks himself over, ladies and gentlemen. Peter will not be too pleased. She has also signed with WTF and will be debuting in the coming weeks. And oh, elbow drop there, by uh, by uh, Red Ranger. And a big boot actually hits this time. What's he gonna do? Oh, elbow to the face. And a bulldog by the putty. Zoidberg is right on top of the action here. Oh, pin one, two, no, gets his shoulder up at the last possible moment there. And Red Ranger just was just laying in wait. Did it can't pay off? Yes, it did. DD2. Ranger signaling for something. What's he signaling for? Elbow drop. Oh, Randy is having a turn with a, but pays for it with a strike combo. You know, gets one of his own, and then Randy is putty setting the turn buffer this time, but pays for it. <laughs> nice low down attempt there by the putty, but he gets his back instead. What's he gonna do here? Oh, setting up for something big. It's a super flex, ladies and gentlemen. And regular the eyes through the mask. Or through the helmet, I mean. Oh. oh, nice, uh, whatever that move was, that was really nice by the putty. So 
There's a drop kick that ends up landing on his back. Nice splash there. One, two. Will we see a Power Ranger triumph, or will we see a Mighty Morphin mistake? And Putty trying another playmaker there, but didn't end up panning out. Gets a shooting star press. One, two, three. No. Red Ranger kicks out. DDT. We're going to go here. Elbow. Another elbow. And Red Ranger gets the best of that strike exchange there. Drags him out. And crossbody. One. Two. But he gets a shoulder up. He gets an uppercut, more of combat style. Except he doesn't send him 20 feet in the air. And two playmakers. One in Power Slam. Or should I say Power Ranger Slam? Hit him. Shot combo there by the putty. And a shooting star press. One, two. Or shooting star splash, I should say. And here comes the putty with a lowdown. What are you going to do here? Oh, Cuddy. Slow down. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in history, one of the Cuddy Patrollers defeated a Power Ranger. What a dark day in history. Well, here we go. The um, Putty Patroller won against the Red Ranger. Ladies and gentlemen, this is match number two, and we have Thanos Beats All Challenge. In this case, Thanos will defend his streak against Gambit of the X-Men. And, and of course, if Thanos keeps his winning streak, and if Shaq retains tonight, it'll be Shaq versus Thanos at work time climate number three, which is coming up October 21st. But we will. We will figure out who is going to be facing, or who is going to be in the world title picture right here tonight. Shaq taking on Lord Zed. Actually, it will decide two matches. 
the shack taking on Lord Zed because I have a, a surprise if Zed ended up ends up winning as well, and that surprise is for the Hollywood Championship, which is being repackaged as the Golden Globe Championship. There we go. Nice uh, power bomb there by Thanos. And it knees to the back. Of course, Thanos is undefeated. This is Gambit's first match here on WTF. Well, it ought to be an interesting uh, development here. Does Gambit end the challenge, or does he have an unsuccessful debut? <laughs> of, course, you know, of course, Thanos went through all the other X-Men. With the exception of Storm. And next week, if he wins this match, he will face Cyclops. There's power bomb. Oh, no. Two. Uh, two power bombs and a Death Valley driver by Thanos there. One. Two. No. Gambit kicks out. Nice kick to the face, or kick to the back of the head there by Gambit. And a brain buster by Thanos. One, two. Gambit kicks out again. Oh, oh, uh, cutter. The X cutter. Oh, wow, that is a hell of a hurricane runner there. Wow. Gambit's not playing around here. Oh, well, no, never mind. I thought he was going to start dancing. <laughs> Stunner with a Thanos. A kick to the face. No countouts, no disqualifications. Kick to the back of the head. Of course, Gambit tried using a weapon on Thanos. Thanos is pretty much saying, I don't need weapons. Twist of fate. You know, oh! Hits him with a baseball bat. Will that turn things around, ladies and gentlemen? A pile driver from the top rope. What's Gambit gonna do here? Brain Buster. It does not have the strength to continue, it looks like. Oh, it does. Suplex one, two. Oh, Thanos gets his shoulder up. Thanos has never been this close to losing, ladies and gentlemen. This brain buster by Thanos. But pays for it with a right to the eyes. A nice cutter there by Gambit. Will Gambit finally defeat Thanos? One, two. Oh, Thanos kicks out. Thanos is getting pissed. He's like, I'm gonna destroy you, X-Man. But no. Answers back with a twisting neck breaker, but Enzakuri. I've never seen Thanos get manhandled. Oh, 
see what Stano's going to do here. He throws him outside, but Gambit gets right back in. Nice move there by Thanos. One, two, three. Thanos wins despite being hit with a bat. <laughs> wow, that was very, very close. I wonder if Cyclops next week can defeat Thanos. It's called the Infinity Bomb, so I guess that's his finisher. But yeah, Thanos wins. <laughs> By a hair. Alright, here we go with our third match of the evening. <clears throat> we have Gene Simmons, Eric Singer, and Paul Stanley, the members of KISS, taking on Ghostface, DMX, and Method Man. Um, yeah. Uh, this is a match we were supposed to have at uh, this is a match we were supposed to have this past Saturday, but I forgot to put them on the card. My mistake. <clears throat> and, yeah, it's basically newish music versus, old, uh, versus classic music, classic rock. This is a six-man tornado tag team match. And I will change my settings back. Once this match is over. One. We've got referee Mills Lane looking on in this match. Catman stops a triple team. And one of the big, or one of one with the shoulder pads is of course Gene Simmons. <clears throat> and this one we have Kiss versus Heavy Hitters of Hip Hop. Looking heavy hits, there's a low blow. And another one. And a third one. Alright, and. Gene Simmons, what's he gonna do? Nope, he gets punched. And then he punches back. He starts a strike exchange. And. Oh, nope. That was gonna be over right there, but nobody gets the best of that strike exchange. Is DMX and Method Man teaming up, or double teaming, or we're double teaming Gene Simmons. And then the other two members of Kiss. Alright, now. Alright, everybody's got their own person right now. Now you draw Cradle 1. This is pure chaos. I do like it, but I think it should go back to the other way. So that's what I'm going to do. One, two, three. No, Gene Simmons almost got the win for his team. His DMX hasn't been that successful so far in action. So it only goes for like second match or so, so I'm not continuing. I'm not 
counting him right now in the standings. One, two. I just noticed that Gene Simmons was pinning as well. He's got a sort of a nerve hold on a on Method Man there. Oh, here we go, Jackknife cover, and it gets broken up. Nice drop kick there to Ghostface. Did a drop kick there by, by two members of Kiss. Looks like, oh, no, oh, Gene Simmons is going after DMX now. What's he going to do here? Burning Hammer. And, nope, tried a double team on DMX, but DMX got the best of them. And now they're double team, or now him and Ghostface are double team. You want to remember the kiss. Belly to belly there by Gene Simmons. One, two, three, no. Kiss almost won this match again. No. Elbow drop misses there, but yeah, elbow drop misses. The next decides to go and switch to underhanded tactics here. Very nice uh, diving foot stomp. Oh. He brings out the Wolverine claws. Again, he's running the underhanded tactics. And, oh, leg drop by Ghostface. And a double team. Gene Simmons. Firmly in control here. One, two, three. No. Kicks out. Ghostface and Gene Simmons battling for control. It's the cat man kicking him in the back. There's Power bomb there by Gene. But Method Man kicks out. Method Man, of course, is in the blue. Joe Space in the red. EMX in the green. Suplex there. Low blow. And they gave Gene Simmons enough time to recover. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, Kiss wins. All right. All right, Eric Singer defeats Ghostface. I was giving the band Kiss the win in this match of music. All right, here we go with our main event. 
Lord Zed, Shaquille O'Neal, WTF Championship on the line. If O'Neal wins, he will then go one on one with Thanos. If Zed wins, O'Neal will no longer be able to, to compete against WTF talent. He must then go to celebrities and other. Of course, there was a non-title match on Saturday between these two behemoths and Zed actually mopped the floor with Shaq on that one. This is no disqualifications because there must be a winner. Shaq's back in the ring. One, uh, no. Not even a one count there. Zed not taking the fight to Shaq like he did on uh, the other day. Hopefully he can win this one. For his own sake. Otherwise, Shaq will be the only non-WTF person in WTF. As, yeah, like I said, I'm separating the two leagues. Referee Mills Lane is still in the ring. Well, Shaq had a dominant showing this past Saturday against, uh, or sorry, he had a dominant showing this past Saturday when he took on Darth Vader. One, two, and then he choked against Lord Zed. Oh, Zed stops the choke slam. But Shaq stops a punch. Nice pop-up powerbomb by Shaq. And a spear. And, oh, Zed with a clothesline. One, two, Zed kicks out. There's a nerve hold there by Lord Zed. Plus Zed's wife Rita will be debuting in the coming weeks. Will we have a new champion here tonight? Or will Shaq's reign of dominance continue? And choke slam. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, six minutes, 42 seconds. Shaq wins this. I feel you guys got gypped there, so. You know what? Shaq Danos right now all right uh, I was gonna do this at the pay-per-view but it's gonna be Shaq Thanos Thanos beats all challenge will continue here tonight but if Thanos wins this one he becomes WTF champion so this is streak versus streak versus title or no streak 
versus streak slash title because that Shaq is also on a on an undefeated streak, well, except for maybe one match. Thanos is still has a better win loss record, but Shaq's been on a hell of a roll. Let's continue, shall we? Alright, so Thanos is undefeated. This time we have Adam Blompier, the referee in this one. Shaq taking the fight to Thanos here. Thanos has never faced anyone this big except for Beast. And he pretty much mopped the floor. Er, well, no, it was a close battle with Beast. Because earlier tonight we had, uh, uh, we had uh, Thanos uh, almost lose to Gambit of the X-Men. So it'll be interesting to see how these two behemoths will collide. One, no, not even a one count. Will the Thanos beats all challenge end tonight? Or will we see the changing of the guard? Mark Thanos was also hit with a bat earlier. And still won his match. Nice close on there by Shaq. So yeah, like I said, it'll be interesting to see who will win. And to see if Shaq will hand Thanos his first loss. Or if, Tha or if Shaq will hand Thanos the World Championship. A suplex there by, by Thanos. Of course, Thanos had to change up his game because he was used to, was used to fighting people smaller than himself. And the same rule applies here. If Shaq wins the night, he will face Dan he may face Thanos once again at the pay per view. Or this could be Thanos' only shot. If Shaq loses, he will be barred from facing any WTF talent. In a WTF ring. But he will automatically be thrusted into the number one contender slot for the Golden Globe Championship against Kanye West. Well, Shaq lost to Kanye a couple weeks back. Nice power bomb there by Thanos. One, two. Shaq is. Pretty much manhandling Thanos here. Nice brain buster by Thanos. One, 
to Shaq kicks out. Either way, this match is going down in history right here. I'm getting it on free TV on regular regular programming rather than pay-per-view uh, pay match. Nice move there by Shaq. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this just announced for next week, the Power Rangers will be in action, facing some of their old villains. But it'll be interesting to see which villains will come out to play. And then also next week we will find out who will face Iron Man and Iron Fist for the Tag Team Championship. But at the end of this match, we will know who faces for a world title. Who will be one-on-one -on -one for a world title. Whether that be Shaq versus Kanye. Or whether that be the WTF title. We will know the status of one of those championships here tonight. At the, at the conclusion of this main event. And Thanos taking it to Shaq now. Title versus streak right here. And lifts Thanos over his head. What's he going to do here? Nope, nothing. It's countered, but Shaq counters again. We're setting up for something huge. Oh! Elbow to the back of Shaq. <laughs> it's almost like a regular Shaq attack. I could not resist. And, ooh, nice backbreaker there by Thanos. And a brain buster. Where Thanos is winded for the first time in his WTF career. Powerbomb by Shaq. Two behemoths. One on one. Right here tonight. And we're. Oh, no! Shaq! Or no, the rope broke up. Let's finish her. One, two, three. We are the new champion, ladies and gentlemen. Say hello to your world champion, Thanos. The streak continues. There we go. Infinity Bomb. Thanos ends the reign of Shaquille O'Neal. And it's been announced that at work time fun number three, October 21st, it will be Shaq going for the Golden Globe Championship against Kanye West. And Thanos will find himself a challenge in the coming weeks. It will be announced next week who his challenger will be at work time fun. For now though, ladies and gentlemen, let's see it. New champion crowned. Alright. 
So, with that being said, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter at A13ENT. And of course, as always, stay frosty, ladies and gentlemen.